so when you see the types of questions that slash is giving so here also like the same way national achievement survey here also reading comprehension is a more focus generally in any assessment surveys or any competitive exams or any anything reading comprehension plays a major role reading com with reading comprehension you can test all the academic standards of a student uh, in uh, uh, reading comp with reading comprehension that is the only tool that uh, a teacher can uh, train uh, her students in uh, language so, so here if you see this kazi and the former this is a small passage uh, uh, re uh, related to this language english so they have given this passage and they asked this questions why did kazi lost the case lose the case which quality of rahim helped him win the case after thoroughly going through the passage only the student can answer these questions so they have to go through the passage thoroughly to answer this question i think these questions are also like not given in the passage like not yes. straight away given in the straight passage straight away given they have in to the read, passage think understand the passage and then answer try the to question. answer yeah. questions sir i request you to see this slide and answer my question so misconceptions yeah. i can see what is animals. what is there in that picture what are you uh, observing i think it is a holes on the left side hmm and the other one, uh, what is that, ma'am? Actually, is it not a horse? Uh, uh, but it has a horn, right? It, mm. is, so, so it is called uh, it's, unicorn. It's, it's a unicorn. It's yes, a unicorn. exactly. Yes. You are right. Unicorn. But have you heard about unicorn? Is it an animal? Uh, it's, it's an animal. It's an animal. But I okay. heard uh, of uh, unicorns only in stories. Okay. I never like. Uh, Existence is, yeah, is not it, it never existed, I believe. Okay, so you heard it is an uh, in uh, stories only. Yeah, yeah. But it is an animal. Yeah, it's an animal. Okay, so what is the difference between? Is there any difference? Uh, the difference is that so the unicorn is our imagination kind of like uh, myth. It's okay. not really ex existing, but okay. whereas hose is real. Like, real. Like. Yeah. So that is the only uh, thing uh, with regard to misconceptions. So, misconceptions in the preconceived notions that the students are also are already having in their mind. When they are in the classroom, they come with the come to the classroom with preconceived notions. Okay. So, let us see what are the misconceptions and uh, what are the misconceptions that we found in uh, student learning achievement survey mm -hmm. questions. Okay. So, they generally they do not come to the classroom with as blank slates already they are having so much in their mind when they the, the students come to the school misconceptions are the concepts that students acquire which are not in line with or do not match the conventional expert view in that topic so as if when you see the oxford dictionary what it is telling misconception a is a belief or an idea that is not based on correct information that is not understood by the people the name itself indicating that misconception that means teacher is giving a concept but we have to see whether the student is taking the concept as it is or the student is already having a preconceived notion in his mind and then learning the concept then only they will do generally mistakes in in our uh, answer sheets so whether we will see in slash how our students have answered you the question give them examples yeah sure sir i will give some of the examples that i have picked uh, from uh, slash see let us see one by one in fourth language so here if you see this slide you can see this question which word completes this sentence suitably this is a question that they have given right side they have given data okay so what is the right answer that they have given in green color they and then a red answer percentage of students more percentage of students answered in the choose in that option b option so 47 so, percentage of the students answered it correctly yeah and, and then 32.6 percentage students got it wrong opted and they chose b as the answer b as an okay. answer let us see what is the right answer a sheila dash for her kitten everywhere later she found it under her bed what what sheila did she sheila sh searched for her kitten that is the right answer mm -hmm. but our students searching 
that means what is the wo here the the tested concept is uses of verb okay whether the student will be able to use the verb correct uses of the verb or not so here what is the misconception students could not identify appropriate form of the verb to be used according to the context given simply they are reading and they are choosing the option what is the b option searching that means they are they have not read completely the remaining sentence mm -hmm. later she found it under her bed but students did not completely read the uh, sentences that they have given so searching sheila is searching for her kitten like that that means reading competency we have to focus more on reading competency and that context also they have to understand mm -hmm. what happened and all so if you see another question the this is also the same way antonym here the intention of the asking question is to identify antonym whether the student will be able to identify antonym or not but here see anita usually remembers to water her plants every day whenever she dash to water them they look wilted the next day that is the question that they have given here see what is the right answer a is the right answer uh, so b is the right answer the more number of students answered a mm -hmm. see uh, right answer is forgets so here also misconception is they not understanding the context and not able to identify antonym of the verb in the previous sentence so they are overlooking the previous sentence they are simply reading whenever she dash to water them they look wilted the next day so students are unable to read complete the um, complete uh, the context that they have given so that is the misconception they are identified and we have already seen the passage previous in previous slides yeah that's this question about, is yeah. also related to that pa passage why did kazi lose the case mm -hmm. when you see this uh, question the right answer is d because rahim showed kazi's point to be foolish but most of the students answered b as a right answer that means students probably answered the question without reading the story completely so ma'am so uh, can i ask you a question here like so mm. so how can a teacher use this uh, misconception analysis given by slash to mm. improve the learning levels any okay so misconceptions if you see this uh, misconceptions you will be able to understand that the some of the students are unable to answer questions well mm -hmm. why you find you can find out the reasons by looking at their answer scripts because if you, in your class majority of the students are answering the question wrongly then you have to focus on that particular question and that particular concept you have to focus on that particular concept because maybe either the student will not be able to understand the concept or maybe you may change your mode of delivering the concept that you can change the delivering the concept your mode of delivering the concept you have to clear the concept very well and then again you test on the same question if the students will be able to answer correctly then the, their concept is clear so you can identify misconceptions with the answer scripts that they have written that is a one of the major uh, easy way to find out the misconceptions and while delivering uh, uh, teaching learning process also some of the students will answer you in one way and may one or two students will answer in another way then you can identify those students why they are answering in that particular way whether they are thinking in another way mm -hmm. to understand the concept you can be able to uh, find out the misconceptions from the students in a regular classroom teaching process also here here they are testing the quality of the person because see draw inferences about the situation from the information provided if you th see this question which quality of rahim helped him win the case here the right option is a wittiness but majority of the students choose the option b 28.8% of the students they answered b as a right answer students inventing the quality of rahim's goodness since there is no details in the story to support it the only thing if you see see all the questions in nas and slas everything we are having a general conclusion that our students are able to 
read the passage, but they are unable to read draw the conclusion from the passage. That means, they are not reading uh, the passage with understanding. That is what we have uh, find out from NAS and SLAS results. So, to summarize, ma'am, can you just tell us about the key findings from okay. NAS and SLAS? Okay, sure, sir. Students exhibit a fair amount of procedural road based learning. That what I have already told you now, <coughs> just now. Road based learning. That means, if you give any direct questions, immediately they are answering. If you twist some questions like a typical type of questions, then they are unable to answer the questions. So, we need to focus more on understanding part, not on rote learning. Rote learning days were gone. Now, our student has to go through all these exams like assessments and competitive exams and whatever uh, 21st century skills we are talking about now, nowadays, right. So, for that we need to uh, give clarity more on concepts that is what uh, uh, the key findings we are finding in uh, NAS and SLAS. Rural schools are performing better than urban schools, uh, it is a great achievement mm -hmm. actually. And drop of performance is observed as depth of understanding is required both in languages and mathematics also. Students harbor misconceptions and make specific <coughs> common errors indicates that there are gaps in understanding the concepts. That is what we are majorly focusing on concepts, concepts. So, curricular effort and training to teachers should be directed towards improving the performance of students. So, that is the reason why training needs assessment survey was conducted in our Andhra Pradesh and uh, classroom observation process is also uh, now uh, we are uh, uh, more focusing towards the classroom observation. Teachers, all the teachers uh, has to focus uh, on uh, teaching and uh, strategies, how well we can uh, uh, teach the, uh, how well we can teach the students and how well we can facilitate our uh, uh, students towards uh, understanding these concepts and all. Okay. And motivation is also required for the student teachers and the students, professional development is a must compulsory and cost for updating themselves according to present scenario is also required. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, now that so we have uh, all the uh, performance data with us yeah. from NAS as well as SLAS and also like uh, uh, misconceptions analysis from SLAS. So, uh, can you also suggest uh, some uh, improvements, some interventions we can yeah. plan so that uh, the learning levels can be improved? Definitely sir, sure. Uh, as far as interventions is concerned, it is suggested to go through learning outcomes document before planning to teach or facilitate your academic year. Because learning outcomes document is a most important document that actually I suggest to each and every teacher. I should not call teacher actually, I have to call facilitator. Now teacher days were gone, facilitation is the only thing that we are doing as part of CC, continuous comprehensive evaluation. So please go through learning outcomes document and uh, segregate your learners uh, after going through learning outcomes document you will be able to know how my child in class 3 has to acquire uh, these um, competencies. So, you will be able to know my child has to acquire these competencies after completing third class. So, if you are teaching fourth class, if you start your fourth class teaching then you have to segregate your students uh, based on the learning outcomes. Then you start uh, teaching your class, then it will be better so that you will focus each and every group granular level, each and every group uh, focus will be there. And I suggest to make a habit of re reading and participate book review in school complex meetings. Generally in school complex meetings book review is, is, uh, is happening. So, if you focus more on book review, then we, you will be able to know how to do that analysis part and uh, if you, it is very much required to read, read, read. If you read, you will make your students also read. So, you, you know the essence of reading, you, if you enjoy reading, then automatically your students also participate in reading. So, m more focus towards reading. Make optimum use of library periods in your classrooms. So, in all classrooms are completely dumped with uh, library books it seems. So, you make use of that library period very well 
uh, in in classroom in your classrooms so various competitions on book reading and also reading games speed reading reading without mistakes to students at least quarterly ones or monthly ones if you conduct this kind of uh, quiz and uh, games re related to reading then the students will also be, will be motivated very well and then they will also habituated to read and enjoy and they will tell stories to you and you will also enjoy reading and campaigns like have your students read a lot and how to make your students read a lot should lead to readers nation so encourage your children to read news headlines in school assembly and enrich vocabulary mainly through telling and retelling stories and folk tales extra to the students more focus should be given to reading and process of reading in classroom transaction process that is the only way that uh, uh, you can uh, you know motivate your students to read a lot so that uh, they will also enjoy the reading and uh, very soon our assessment cell is going to deliver classroom strategies based on nas and slas findings to improve classroom teaching process you will get uh, um, uh, video sessions uh, very soon through mana tv it seems uh, so we are also planning to uh, deliver the uh, video modules through mana tv and uh, and also for more information with uh, regarding survey results if you want to know about more more uh, about national achievement survey results and slash survey results you can go refer to nas report in ncert website and slash report in ncert website thank you very much for giving me this wonderful opportunity to share uh, to disseminate the nas and slas results thank you sir thank you prabhu namah thank, thank, thank you all the viewers hope this session will help you in improving the learning levels of children in language thank you so much namaste